Hey, welcome back to the drinker.co.uk with me, Pete Turner, for my pick of the supermarkets in this summer going into the autumn of 2023. Uh, I'm covering all the UK supermarkets in this little film. I'm looking at the wines at Waitrose. Waitrose always have great quality all across their price ranges, but none of the wines in any of these vids cost more than £10. So um, what I'm trying to do is keep the costs down but keep the quality up and I think I've discovered one or two little hidden gems here. So we've got two reds, two whites, a rosé and a fizz as always and I'm going to start off with this little number. It is Waitrose Mellow and Fruity Spanish Red. Comes in at 4 99 Now 4 99 how far is that going to take you? Bear in mind this is Waitrose and it's got a really beautifully plum and damson and like black currant kind of nose to it. Very primary, very straightforward. Mmm, it's, it's yummy. It's fresh and mouth-watering. It's not particularly the most complex or elegant wine in the world, but it's 4 dollars worth. I think that's a real bargain there. It's beautiful. Easy drinking, summer pudding, think summer pudding, those kind of fruits. It's it's not going to set the world on fire, but at four ninety nine, that is a brilliant party wine or a brilliant house wine if you want to have get through a few bottles. Ever ever get a, a recipe which requires a whole bottle of wine and you're aghast at that? That's the wine for for the job. But it's a lovely drink too. So hey, there you go, four ninety nine, Spanish, mellow and fruity red wine. All I know is it's Garnacha. Is the great variety doesn't tell us where it comes from in Spain, but lovely wine. Okay, so next up, this is Chateau Umsiat from the Lebanon. It's called Mijana. It's eight ninety nine. The Lebanon really is a sort of a miraculous place to be um, growing grapes. Predominantly Muslim country makes great wine. You may have heard of Chateau Moussa, who who make fabulous wines in the Lebanon too. So this is eight ninety nine. Um, and if you think it's just north of Israel and it's just west of Syria, um, but it's on the on the Mediterranean and it's it's a it's a beautiful you know beautiful area of the world, the, the right climate to be growing grapes in. So what do you get? Again, we don't know what the grapes are in here, but uh, from the nose, there's certainly it feels like Syrah, maybe Cabernet Sauvignon. I'm taking a guess, but. But it's ripe and earthy, and there's some tobacco there, and some licorice, and something herbal, Mediterranean herbs, thyme, rosemary. It's a really complex nose. Eight ninety nine. That is an interesting wine here. Mm. Oh, and it's perfect. It's well balanced. It's full in fruit. It's got some lovely acidity. There's a little bit of tannic structure in there, but not intrusive in any way. It's really integrated and rounded and poised. And at eight ninety nine, what is not to like about that Chateau Umsiat? Get lots of that. That's going to be my house wine. That's complex and interesting and special occasiony, but for only eight ninety nine, great stuff. Okay, so this is probably the sister wine really to the Spanish red. This is Chilean white, and it's called Vibrant and Grassy Chilean White. It's Sauvignon Blanc. Again, it's four ninety nine. Branding's just the same. So what are we looking at? Lovely grapefruit peel uh, nose to it. Grapefruit peel and something floral, something... Do grapefruits have blossom? If grapefruits have blossom, there's grapefruit blossom uh, as a character to this. Fresh and easy and lovely to drink. It's a perfect wine. At 4 99 for a patio wine for the summertime, for a summer party, chill it well. It's beautiful, it's expressive, it's got enough grapefruit and sort of elderflower note to it. It's fresh and dry and it does everything it needs to. And it's perfectly lovely at 4 99 So next up, a perfect Californian Chardonnay. So this is in the Blueprint uh, series. You'll see on the label, there's a, a lovely, lovely sort of design label. It's the same on the Prosecco. Blueprint range at Waitrose um, are really classic typicity wines. So if it's this is a Californian Chardonnay, this is what Californian Chardonnay really should taste like. This is what Prosecco really should taste like. Their Blueprint series are spot on the money, and the money is usually under a tenner. So do look uh, look out the Blueprint series. So this comes from Lodi in California. It's Chardonnay. It's had a little bit of oak, as you would expect with Californian Chardonnay. 
but it's not over oaky or over overcooked in any way. It's been aged not in oak barrels, but it's had some oak influence. And it's lemon and it's a little bit of interesting leather and some white pepper. And the oak, it's the oak that's doing it for me. It's it's a vanilla, vanilla note on the on the oak. And it's soft and it's creamy and it's fuller bodied and it's really very, very drinkable. It's 6 99 That oak becomes, the vanilla turns into something like coconut husk or um, a gorse. There's a little touch of gorse flower to it. And there's some lovely grass and lovely apple in there too. That is a super wine at 6 99 Please don't turn away from Chardonnay. Please don't turn away from oak. The oak here is really, really well judged. Okay, so we have a rosé, another one, uh, at 8 99 this is Laurent Michel Vendage Nocturne Rosé. Vendage Nocturne means they harvested the grapes at night where it's cooler and then they press them in a cool cellar so it keeps the freshness and the and the fruit character of the of the grapes. Um, the grape blend here is Sanso and Syrah. So what are we going to get? Beautiful um, red currant raspberry, really, really intense kind of crushed raspberry, almost like yeah, newly picked raspberry. Yeah, and it's fresh and beautiful and fruity, and the fruit really dominates. And actually, there's some good acidity and a little bit of tannin. Remember, it's got some syrup in it, and that can be quite a quite a tannic and angular grape. But it sits with the fruit really, really well for that. For eight ninety nine, how about that? Vendage Nocturne, Laurent Michel, and as I said, it's the Blueprint Prosecco, seven ninety nine. Uh, it hasn't got a sort of a, an area to it, so it's just bog standard sort of Prosecco, Prosecco, and it's seven ninety nine, and it's eleven percent in alcohol, and it's got a really wonderful floral nose, like peach skin nose. Hmm. Mm -hmm. You could drink that all day. It's beautiful. It's 11%, so it's nice and low in alcohol. There is just a little element of sweetness to it, but you wouldn't really notice it. And it's apple and grass and peach. And peach really dominates, and as it should in uh, in Prosecco. What a beautiful, beautiful wine. So there you go. That's my selection from Waitrose. Do get down there. Look at my previous vids, because there are still some of those wines on the shelves at Waitrose and there's still some of my house wines on those lists and on the list on the uh, drinker.co.uk you can see all my recommendations at all the different prices so there you go get yourself down to Waitrose enjoy their wine um, give us a like share and follow let me know what you're drinking and enjoy your wine now cheers